Hey everybody, we're going to do one thing real quick right now. We're going to just do an introduction to the articulation ID. That's what allows us in this instrument, for instance, to do legato, staccato, pizzicato, and tremolo, all within a single instrument. Now we used to do this with key switching, or uh, we can do that with group selections, but in the new... Uh, Logic 10 with one of the updates a lot of the instruments were updated so that with group selection let's say view select group by all the new ones use the articulation ID uh, which is just a little piece of the MIDI code to choose that so for instance I'm going to record for a second Now I can open up uh, our data here, and let's actually view articulation ID. You can see that's all one. Um, let's open up the MIDI data down here. We're on kind of a tight screen. That's okay. Make a selection. I change the articulation ID. Let's just delete a couple of these notes and let's move this one there. So I can go through and change those right here uh, to the different uh, articulation. Again, those all match up with what's in the smart control, but really they all match up with what's in the actual instrument. under the select group by. So we have the different ones right here. Now, what we're gonna get into, I don't wanna do it right now because I don't wanna do too much, but um, we're gonna get into actually creating an instrument or using the instrument real time so you can change as you're playing and then also automating those things. But right now, the main thing you need to know is that you can actually change these notes with the articulation here in your event editor as long as you have the articulation ID data view activated and then you change the number to the one you want. Okay, that's it for today. See you tomorrow.